Hello everybody, my name is Ever Barbero, and today I'd like to talk about example 3.7, part B, in my textbook, Finite Element Analysis of Composite Materials Using Abacus. There are four ways to solve this example, and thus, four different videos. In this video, we use continuum shell elements to simulate a sandwich panel. The elements will span the entire thickness, which is not ideal. More refined solutions are presented in the next two videos. We create the geometry, also called domain, by extruding a square through the whole thickness of the panel. Next we create a set, named plate, to represent the panel. We need this later, to construct the composite layup. In module property, we create materials for the face and the core. Next we create a composite layup, ply count, 3, element type, continuum shell, to describe the laminate stacking sequence, LSS, in a face slash core slash face, configuration. The average Poisson's ratio and thickness modulus must be provided separately. The assembly is trivial, because we have just one part. As usual, we need a step 1, after step initial. Within module step, we edit the field output request, to get results saved. We add CTSHR and TSHR to include the transverse shear for continuum shells. We add SE, section strains and curvatures. These are not saved by default. We add 9 section points to get results at 3 Simpson in 3 layers.
In module load, first we apply a pressure on top of the plate. The left and the bottom edges are clamped. The other two edges, have symmetry boundary conditions, so that we can simulate the whole clamp plate, while modeling only one fourth of the domain. Next, we mesh. Element shape, hex. Meshing technique, sweep. Element type, continuum shell, SC8R. Now we need a job. When completed, click results. For results, let's look at displacement U3, which is the deflection of the plate, under vertical pressure load. Ok, that's it for today. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe. You can find more details in the textbook, by following the link in the description. Thank you.